even if there are conditioning forces in the world. Well, so what? We know they're there. We can rise above them. We can teach them. Eventually, we will have to teach. We will, eventually, we will need to reverse this misunderstanding and know that we actually will, will obtain more production from happy people. We will obtain more obedient children when they're happy. We will obtain better performance from students who are happy. We will have less crime from happy people. And that the creation of happiness should not be conditioned. This should, this should be stated as one of our primary universal rights as human beings, personally and collectively. We need to learn in ourselves to make that choice. A lot of things can happen in the course of a day, in the course of a life, that can get us down momentarily. And all we have to do is look at the cause and say, all right, there's a cause and maybe there's something I have to deal with but I don't have to do it unhappily. Just in saying that, in making that choice, you gain an inner courage and an inner strength to be in the midst of your problem knowing that you're bigger than it is. It's just a momentary passing thing. Some of the greatest People who have ever contributed to the human race found their conviction by discovering happiness in the midst of horrible conditions.